In this video, I want to show you how you can use WISE and how you can use it to wire money all over the world into different currencies. And I will also show you what else you can do with WISE, for example, receiving money, or you can actually earn interest on the cash you're holding in your WISE account. So that's pretty cool. Before we start, you will find the link to WISE down in the video, just the first one here. And if you're using my link, you will actually also land on this page. And at the same time, you're helping me and my channel. So thank you a lot if you're using my link down below. And now we can start using WISE. So before we do that, I will actually show you some features. So WISE is known for having the lowest fees for wiring money into different currencies. And also they are pretty fast and they are quite transparent with it. For example, here you always can see the US dollar exchange rate to euros. So one US dollar is 0.9292 euros. And if we actually look this up on Google dollar and euro, it's actually 0.9 three it's called the mid market exchange rate and that's why wise is so well known in the world and we can actually compare the fees so we can click on compare and then wise is comparing itself to different banks for example chase and chase would be even more expensive so 22 euros more or paypal would be 34 euros more which is about the same as dollars as you've seen so wise is really cheap compared to chase moneygram paypal and they're so transparent they actually tell you that other companies are a little bit cheaper than they are. So that's pretty cool. They are so open with that, but they actually always give you the mid market exchange rate and tell you right away what kind of transaction fees you have. And therefore we use WISE, for example, for sending money abroad to our families or for example, sending money to Asia for our suppliers, for our online shop. Maybe we purchase products from there and therefore we need to wire money from US dollars to yen, to Chinese yen, and then we can just choose it and tell the system how much we owe the Chinese <laughs> supplier and then we can just type it in and it will automatically calculate the exchange rate and give us the fee. So that's pretty pretty cool about WISE and we can do more with WISE. So we can also receive money. So for example if you're working abroad or you have business connection with someone abroad then you will for example get a European bank account and someone from Europe can send you euros and you then can go ahead and change it to dollars and for the main currencies you will also earn some interests and that's pretty cool because then your cash is working for you in your WISE account. And of course, you will also get a card with WISE, so a Visa and debit card, so you can pay abroad in the currency. And that's pretty nice as well. So I would say let's go ahead and start using WISE. I actually have a video on how to register. You can just type in your information and then you need to scan a QR code and make a verification process, pretty much basic stuff. But I already have an account, so I can just log in using my email address and password. And once you have logged in, you will land on this screen and this is your WISE dashboard. And here we have our US dollar account, but we could also go ahead and open up a different account in a different currency and just click on new. And then you can open up a balance account. And for example, I can choose Euro and then I have a Euro account also in my WISE account. And that's pretty nice because now you can hold Euros and US dollar and maybe Canadian dollars, for example. And then we can go ahead and just choose Canadian dollars and we will open up a Canadian Canadian bank account. And we also get account details here. Of course, we need to first deposit something and verify our identity. But once we've done that, we will get a Canadian bank account and people can send us money there in Canadian dollars. So you can actually receive money with WISE from all over the world. And if you travel abroad, you can also get the card because then you can start spending money in the local currency. For example, if you're in Paris and you're spending your money with a WISE card, then it will actually directly deduct the amount from your euro account. But the main thing why most people use WISE is the transfer money to a different currency and to a different country. And therefore you have this calculator here. And uh, let's go ahead and start click on send and it will take us to the main interface. And here we can go ahead and send money now. For example, if we want to send a thousand US dollars to someone in Europe, we can do that. But if we, for example, have an invoice to pay in Euro, for example, 1,500, euros, then it will automatically calculate us the US dollar amount. So that's pretty cool because then you don't have to do it in your head. And also the exchange rate is guaranteed for the next 14 hours. So we don't have to worry that our business partner, for example, won't get the 1,500 euros in Europe because we can actually tell the system to do this exact amount. And now we just have to decide how we want to pay. 
so we can here click on change and either you already have connected your account and you have some us dollar in your wise balance then you can use it and this will actually give you the lowest transaction fee five dollar twenty for this transaction or you can just connect your bank account and then it will automatically deduct the money from your bank account if you have connected this one or you can use a wire transfer meaning you will wire the money to wise and then wise will send the money in euro to the other account you can also do an international wire or you can pay by debit card or credit card which is the most expensive but it also works quite fast because it's just three hours so if you have a visa or mastercard you can just type it in at the end and then the one thousand six hundred dollars will be deducted directly but ideally you will have a balance on your wise account and you will always use the us dollar from this account because it's the cheapest but you can also go ahead and use one of these methods and once you've done that it will tell you how long it will take until the money will arrive in our case three hours this is quite fast by the way and then we can go ahead and click add recipient and now you can either find the person on wise if they also have a wise account but you can also enter their bank details or if you have an invoice to pay you can also take an image or upload a PDF and then the system will automatically take the information and upload them into the transfer form but let's go ahead and use the enter bank details and we can say okay someone else or business and charity but I will go ahead with someone else and then we can type in an email so the person will get an email saying okay you will receive 1500 euros nice email to receive and then you can go ahead and just type in the uh, name of the person and the IBAN number which is the SWIFT system in Europe it's like the US routing number just the ID for the bank account of this person so just type it in it always starts with two letters meaning the country for example DE is Germany BE is Belgium and so on then you type in the country the city and the address and postal code and then the whole form is filled and then you can hit continue and confirm and on the next page, you will receive an overview of your planned transaction. And once you reviewed it and confirmed, then you can go ahead and pay either, as we said, from your balance, from your bank account or with Visa or MasterCard. And once you've done that, it will also give you an information on how long it will take and will update you on the transfer. So that's pretty cool with WISE that they are so transparent on everything. But I actually don't have any money to send, so I can just go back. But feel free to play around. You actually don't have to do it right away but you can change currencies here and look up the way how you can send money and let's go back to the wise dashboard so now we pretty much learned the main things how you can wire money to different currencies how you can get your card and it's actually physical or digital card which is quite nice and you have different balance accounts so for holding the money for example I will get paid from my partner sometimes in US dollars and then I hold the cash and when the dollar exchange rate to euro is nice then I will can just transfer it back to euro and then send it to my other account for example but just holding money without earning an interest is not nice so you always have the option to open up a savings jar so you can just click on open up jar and here you can actually just name it let's call it savings simple and uh, let's do us dollars and confirm and now we see we earn up to four percent on interest on us dollars which is quite nice this is quite an interest rate or you can also even put the money into stocks so you can put it into the MSCI world ETF and you can just select it and then you can just put it in but of course this 12% is not guaranteed because it's a stock and an ETF so you ha will have some fluctuation in the rate but overall it will grow mostly as the past has shown but it's quite nice that you can actually put your money to work and earn an interest rate on government bonds or put it into a stock so that's really cool I haven't seen this with many other banks so that's quite nice that wise is offering this and yeah that's pretty much it what you can do with wise these are the main three things different multi-currencies account the card where you can pay globally and wiring money to the mid market exchange rate if you like what you've saw and you want to start using wise as said you will find the link down in the video description here just the first one and if you have any questions just leave a comment and I will try to answer it and if you down there also give it a thumbs up i would really appreciate that and we see us in the next video goodbye and thank you for listening